Alien life might not look that different to life here on Earth. Here's something I've learned by reading a very short introduction to astrobiology. We can define life as any system which replicates itself. To do so, the system must be able to concentrate and use energy in order to create more of whatever it is made of. We already know about enzymes, which are essentially large, complex molecules which can turn other molecules into different molecules with the help of the right temperature. After enzymes have arisen through random collision of smaller molecules, basic life isn't that big of a step away. All you need is an enzyme which can synthesize different compounds depending on environmental factors. For life to arise, you need to be able to encode a sequence of steps for replication in the right order. The best way to do this that we know of is through some long chain-like molecule, which would have to be based on some element which can form up to four bonds, one each for the previous and next links in the chain, with two left to bond with a combination of other elements to serve as instructions. This means life would have to be based on one of these five elements, of which carbon is by far the most common, at the fourth most abundant element in the universe. Carbon is also the lightest and most reactive element in group 14 meaning it would take less energy to metabolize carbon than it would take to metabolize silicon or lead. Second, alien life would probably have to be water-based. In order for molecules to properly interact, they would have to be suspended in some sort of liquid medium, meaning a planet compatible with life would have to have vast amounts of some kind of liquid in the form of an ocean. Life is most likely to form at the bottom of these oceans, where the liquid would gradually dissolve the minerals that the ocean floor is made from, making it the area with the greatest availability of different minerals to form compounds from. However, the bottom of the ocean is also the part of the planet where the light of the star is weakest, meaning oceans would freeze from the bottom up, unless, that is, the oceans were made of water, because water has the very rare property of expanding when it freezes. This means that the bottom of an ocean made of water can't freeze and therefore expand, because it's under too much pressure from all the water that's above it. It's for this reason that life is most likely to arise at the bottom of an ocean made of water, next to some thermal vent where temperatures would be high enough to sustain chemical reactions and stop enzymes from denaturing. There are two more factors that make it likely that alien life would work similarly to life here on Earth, but I'm running out of time, so that will have to be in the next video.